Well, I recently picked up this old original Xbox from somebody who had been sitting in a bag in their garage for the better part of 10 years. Uh, it's, I believe from the serial number, a, one, a version 1.3, which makes it very easily and highly moddable because it will take a TSOP flash where you flash a, a new BIOS to the um, TSOP chip and it allows us to do all sorts of custom custom mods and installations and turn it into a I mean, an amazing retro gaming machine and still quite a capable media player as well even in 2021 so uh, first things first we're going to take it apart clean it remove the clock capacitor because that is known to leak over a period of time and it can damage the motherboard we're going to replace the thermal paste and then we're going to TSOP flash it and upgrade the hard drive and then install all sorts of goodies on it to make it a really awesome machine in 2021 the first things first we're going to soft mod it I'll just quickly show you what it came with. Um, came with an Xbox Halo 1 game. Right, this is mine. I've kept this from when I used to soft mod Xboxes many years ago and I kept my original Xbox memory card with the game exploit on. Now I do realise there's updated soft mods out there. Um, and new, the, Ro the new Rocky S one or Rocky 5 is uh, much more up to date and gives you more features but for the purpose of soft modding this just so I can flash the TSOP then this old soft mod will do fine it came with one original control, two original controllers not the big big one but the, the next one they released which is good and it also came with a third party Mad Cats controller and I know it came with the normal single definition lead and another one as well but I've uh, purchased the component high definition one so I can run certain games and um, view videos in 720p so yeah and there's a power lead and a scart lead so, all picked up for the pricey sum of £10. Right, let's uh, get on with the soft mod. Right, when you turn it on, it asks for the time, which means the clock capacitor is now defunct, faulty. But then it hasn't been plugged in for a long time, so the, the capacitor is hardly charged up. Yeah, it seems to be running okay. Right, let's set the tripod up and we'll get on with the soft mod. Right, the game I'm using to do the soft mod is 007's Agent Under Fire. Now, as far as I know, this works on this and the Platinum Edition. Uh, but there's one certain edition that has a different serial number that you can't use. Um, I've always used this and I've never had any problems. Um, this is the first time I've done an Xbox in years though, so... We should see if I can remember it well. Uh, I believe the other ones that work well are uh, Splinter Cell, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, um, Mech Assault, and there is another one I can't at the moment I can't remember, but they all work for this method of soft modding. Right, set you down there. Get a good view of the screen. 
Right, first things we need to do is we go into the memory and select the controller for the memory card in there. And this is the game save which will do the exploit. So what we need to do is we press right on the controller. This is particularly important because if you don't press right it, and you go select it will only give you the delete option. So you press right on the controller so this actual game save lights up. Not this one, it's got to be that one. Select that and then you can copy. And you copy that to your hard disk. Right, now that's done. Go back to the dash. And we insert the game. Now with this game, if you try and load the save straight away, it will not work, nothing will happen. So what you do is you get into the game and let the first cutscene run with the helicopters landing you need to get through that bit and then you can load your save. So we'll do that now. It's nice to know the DVD is still working. Um, I'm hoping it's got a decent DVD, DVD drive like a Samson or a Hitachi in it. Not the Thompson drive. Thompson was a totally awful drive, the Philips drive were quite good. Right, so we'll skip that. Press start, select mission and just start a new game. So when it's loaded, we're now going to see the cutscene. And some people say you can do it here. I always wait until the helicopter and the, is landed and the cutscene is finished. With me, with me, I found that guarantees the soft mod pretty much every time. Right, so that's where I let it go to. The whole cutscene has ended, and so you're actually in the game. So we're going to quit the mission. Go back, go to load mission, select your memory card. And the exploit loads, hopefully. There we go. We're now into uh, the dash. So we're going to, first things first, I'm going to back up the EP ROM. After if TSOP flashed it, I'm going to upgrade the hard drive anyway. So I will back it up again on the new hard drive, but you don't really need it if, you, if you're going to TSOP flash it. Right, so let's back that up. And that's done. Let's return to the main menu. Now we're going to install the soft mod. Just go through the steps. 
step two. It's been a while, so I can't remember. So let's have a look. At if you want all the space above eight gigabytes, you should choose NK Flat 06. If you want all the space above eight gigabytes and below 130, right? We'll choose 67. Um, I think we'll keep the Evolution X one. Do its thing. The hard disk I've chosen to upgrade it with is um, it's not a 0881, it's a 250 gigabyte parallel 80A1, it's a 7200 rev revolution one, so it's a bit faster. But this way I don't need to upgrade the the uh, IDE cable to an 80 pin one, this, that will still work off of a 40 pin one. And it's big enough to, for everything I want this Xbox to do, with room left over. Alright, that should be the soft mod complete. I'm going to turn it on and eject the disc. have a soft mod, a working soft mod. Go to system management, just have a quick look. System settings. So that's the soft mod complete. We'll now switch it off and begin the cleaning and taking apart process ready for the TSOP flash. Right, if, you, if you're going to do this yourselves, always take this step before you take it apart. Press and hold the power button for a few minutes. Probably 30 seconds would be enough, but um, a couple of minutes is better because the power supply inside is not fully shielded. It's an open power supply and the capacitors can hold quite a bit of power in there. So you could give yourself a nasty little nip off of that. So what we're doing is just turn it on so the Xbox uses up all the power in those capacitors. That should be enough. You're going to need a Torx 10 and a Torx 20 screwdriver. And this one has been taken apart before. Not by me. So let's start taking it apart. So T20. Hopefully this is a version 1.3, somebody's taken it apart and they might have replaced the motherboard. The, the serial number says it's a version 1.3. So there's six screws, two under the labels and four under the rubber feet. I have to get a replacement rubber foot for there.
sorry if the light's bad, but it, there's a lot of harsh light because it's a sunny day coming in from the shed door. There's a glass door, so it's casting quite a bit of light in. I'll screw that. Flip it over. And crack the lid off. Ooh. Well, the good news is we do have a Samsung DVD drive, which is great. That's the best drive these came with. That and the Hitachi drive. That's good. Right, we need next we go to drop to screw. Um, next we need to change the bit for a T10. And first of all we'll unplug the hard drive and its cable. Quite awkward to do from this angle, so Mm -hmm. Obviously been in there a few years, doesn't want to come out. Uh, the IDE cable looks like it's seen better days. Looks like it's something was spilt in this one at some point. A bit of leverage on one side. There we go, it's out. I'll unrig those cables. And I do believe there's three screws. Well, there's meant to be three screws holding this cage in, but it looks like there's no screws. Looks quite dirty inside. Lots of fluff and dust. Right, yeah, that's not screwed in at all. We we'll have to find some screws for that. We're going to remove that hard drive. Remove the DVD drive, which isn't screwed in either. cable and that. On the whole it doesn't look that dirty inside. We did we looked it from the grills but mm. right we've got to have the motherboard out anyway. Right so unplug all the cables connecting everything to the motherboard. It doesn't look like the clock capacitor is leaked. So I'm going to remove it anyway. Right, move all the cables from the motherboard. And using the T10 screwdriver, remove all the screws holding it in. There's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, nine, ten, ten screws.
Let me just show you what I mean about the power supplies on these. You see, it's all open, I and mean, that capacitor there can hold quite a bit of charge. So that's why you uh, press the button to get rid of any electricity in there, discharge it. Normally, when I'm working on power supplies, I use a large power resistor and I bridge it across the contacts of the capacitor to discharge it so it's then safe to work on. Right, that's all the 10 screws out. We should now be able to lift the motherboard out. Yeah, there was definitely a spillage. You can see where some of it's gone onto the motherboard. There, there, there. All along there. So we're going to give that a clean down with isopropyl alcohol first. Right, I've just started cleaning the motherboard and we have a problem. Even though the serial number on the back suggests it was a, a 1.3 version Xbox, it is in fact a 1.6. Now these cannot be hard modded by TSOP flash. Bit of a nuisance, but we can still make it what we want it to be. You could install a mod chip, that would do it. it you know, the soft mod would still work fine. It's just going to be a bit more of a pain to upgrade the hard disk in this. Right, she's had a Good clean down with isopropyl alcohol. I've had a look under the magnifying glass and there's no sign of corrosion on, on the components. There's a bit of residue around there still, so I'll give that a bit of a clean. But on the back, it all came off very easily. So I'm just going to clean the front off and reassemble it. Right, um, upgrading a soft modded Xbox hard drive. You're going to need a couple of things. First of all, you're going to need a copy of Chimp, which is the software that you use to copy the EP-ROM and lock and unlock your hard drive. You're also going to need one of these because you need to power the hard drive, the new hard drive and the old hard drive at the same time. So you need a Molex splitter which I find is the easiest way. So we'll plug that onto the Molex connection for the hard drive, so that's in place. And now Chimp, you can you can get it on Rocky's um, soft mod installer on his extra disc, or you can download it from the internet and burn it, or it's on the auto installer deluxe disc, which you download off the internet and burn to DVD. And it's also on the soft soft mod installer disc, which again is easily findable on the internet. You just download it. All right, so let's get this Xbox ready to transfer to a new drive. This is the drive I'm going to be using. It is on the Xbox compatibility list. It's a Western Digital 2500 Black Edition, 7,200 revs per minute disc so it'll be slightly faster than the 5400 revolution per minute disc that comes with the xbox right i've removed the xbox hard drive from its tray and i've installed the molex splitter on it uh, the dvd drive is plugged in as it is i've got heindel's xbox engineering disc in and you have to bear with me because i have to hold the camera by hand Let's just collapse it down a bit. There, I, can, I hope you can see that better. Now, on Heindel's engineering disc for Xbox, there's a really handy disc. It's got all sorts of tools and applications to help you with soft modded and hard modded Xboxes. So, go down to install applications, and the first one on there is install Chimp 2E. So select yes and let that install. 
and that's Chimp now installed to E. I might as well, in case I end up putting this disc back in there, install all the applications to E. So, as you see, that's Enigma, which is the NTSC PAL to PAL switcher, and back again. Xbox Partitioner, DVD to Xbox, and Config Magic to E. So, we'll install all of them, and then it's done. If I reinstall this hard drive back into this Xbox, it's just a safeguard in case the one I put in there fails. Again, I'm sorry about the reflection on the TV from the shed door. Now I'm hand holding the camera as well, so it's a bit wobbly. Shouldn't take too long to install all these. There we go, done. Right, so now we're gonna shut down the Xbox and prepare the hard drives ready. And I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, this is a scenario you need your soft modded Xbox set up in to replace the hard drive. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got my hard drive, the new hard drive is sat on top of the DVD drive. I've just put an old rag there to insulate it from any metal. Because the circuit board is underneath the hard drive. The power split is plugged in to my hard drive power port. And then goes to the old hard drive and powers the new hard drive as well. And the reason you have it here is because before you run Chimp, the program which um, swaps the drives for you, you have a few seconds where the Xbox is powered on, you have to hot swap. So you have to pull this cable out of the DVD drive and plug it into the hard drive. You have to be quite quick, there's only a small gap of time, I think it's four or five seconds, that you have to complete the swap before you run Chimp. So a practice run, a few practice runs on pulling that cable out and get it in there because it can be quite fiddly will help you along the way. Right, let's get it ready to run Chimp. Just to add, um, you need to have either both hard drives set by, by their jumpers to either Cable Select or Master and Slave. This one's normally Cable Select anyway because of the DVD drive, so I've put mine onto Cable Select, so they're both Cable Select, so they know what in order what's Master and what's Slave. Right, the Xbox has been sitting idle for a little while. Now I'm going to try and perform the hot swap, which is fiddly to do. I've only got a few seconds to do it. But that's the old one out. And that's the hot swap done. You need to be that quick, so a good few practice runs will help you. Right, now we can run Chimp. Let it go for its start-up process. This is quite an old version of Chimp. I do, do need to update uh, a lot of my soft modding stuff. Right, and so on Chimp we're going to select soft modded box option option two it comes up with a warning if you are soft modded do not unlock your master hard disk drive never do that on a soft modded one it's fine on a tsop flashed one or a, a mod chipped system but not on a soft modded one agree to them so what you could do first is go to scan physical ide drives drives And it is actually saying mine's unlocked, which is strange, but it's picking up my uh, slave drive, so the hot swap was successful, did it enough time. 
So next we go to OK. We want to clone master to slave, option two for the next ones. Right, full disc one. You don't want a full disc one unless you're um, swapping the same drive, the, the master drive for the same size drive. If they're different sizes, we want to select selective select partitions one. Um, this is what you select if you're going to a bigger hard drive like we are. Go OK. What partitions would you like to clone? Now if you're going from a standard Xbox drive to a standard Xbox drive you just want to select C and E, the top one, the two partitions because that's what a standard Xbox has. If you're going for a large drive <coughs> you can choose to have C, E and F or C, E, F and G. I'm going to choose C, E, F and G because I like two partitions. <coughs> Excuse me. One for games and one for media and music. So I'm going to select option three. Now if you're going for a big big hard drive like a one or two terabyte, I think the Xbox only supports up to one terabyte partitions. So you need to take that into account. But we're only going to 250 gigabyte. So what I'm going to do is F and G split space evenly. Confirm format. Yes. And it's formatting the slave hard drive. And then now it's cloning the partition. It's cloning the, the master drive onto the slave drive. So we'll let that go and then come back when it's done. Right, Chimp has come to the end of its cloning process. So last step there is lock slave hard disk drive you want to go yes lock successfully and we go back to scan physical ID devices devices and you can see that's my master drive I don't know why it's saying unlocked because it wouldn't be unlocked in a soft mod um, and this is a new one lock status is locked select OK Now what we're going to do is select shut down. Right, unplug the power. Right, well now we're going to unplug the new hard drive. Unplug the original Xbox hard drive. Remove the power splitter, so that's no longer needed. Needed. And we're going to plug our DVD ROM in again. which is actually fiddlier than doing the hot swap <laughs> which is going to plonk the hard drive in there for now to test it and we'll screw it in back into place later I hope you have the cable up the right way. Place the power connector. All right, just plunk that in there for now. Reinstall the power. And if we were successful, we will have an upgraded soft modded Xbox. Hopefully it will load into the soft mod dash.
and there we go we have successfully upgraded a soft modded Xbox hard drive to a 250 gigabyte faster 7200 revs per minute hard drive all right that's the Xbox all back together now <coughs> running fine and next I'm going to install lots of games on it I'm going to install coin ops 8 massive which is a, a huge huge database of games old retro games um, so that'll be in the next video so if you want to see that how it's done and, and how it performs and what it's like click subscribe because that's my going to be my, my up and coming next video if you like the video give it a thumbs up as I said subscribe I'm going to be doing a lot more Xbox stuff um, I'm going to try and pick up an Xbox Crystal because I always wanted one back in the day never had one and TSOP flash that one or TSOP flash that one and put it maybe a one or two terabyte hard drive in that and really load that one up so yeah if you're interested to see that one as I say subscribe there are more upcoming videos if you want to see any tutorials on the original Xbox give us a shout let us know in the comments down below um yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video Bye for now.